So in the last video, we derived this formula. So the present value of this payment scheme, so that pays p dollars at time one, p plus q dollars at time two, and p plus two q at time three, all the way to time n. So you see that the payments are increasing arithmetically. So for this payment scheme, we found that the present value is equal to this. So we derived this formula in our last video. So what I want to do in this video is to show you the notation for an increasing annuity as well as for a decreasing annuity as well as the payment that these two correspond to so let's talk about the uh, increasing annuity first so the increasing annuity refers to the payment that pays one dollar at time one and then two dollars at time two and then three dollars at time three and so on all the way to time n. So at time n you're going to receive n dollars. Well using the formula that we derived, this formula, we see that this corresponds to the case where p is equal to 1 and q is equal to 1, right? Because when p is equal to 1 this is going to be equal to 1 and when q is equal to 1 this is going to be equal to 1 plus 1 which is 2 this is going to be 1 plus 2 equals to 3 so essentially you have a payment that pays 1, 2, 3, 4 all the way to n and that's exactly what we're looking for here so let's substitute p equal to 1 and q equal to 1 to our increasing annuity formula so substituting that inside we get this now bringing the terms together we can obtain this. Well, this is fairly simple. We just uh, add, the fraction, add the fractions together. We'll observe this term over here. You'll see that 1 plus i times a n is actually equal to a double dot n, so the annuity due. And the reason for that is for this term, you can just expand this term and you'll get 1 minus v into the over i, this is the formula for the annuity times 1 plus i and if you uh, rearrange the terms like this you'll see that this term is actually equal to d so you can derive this, this is actually equal to d so in the end you'll get something like this which is equal to the annuity due so in this case we can take this term and change it to the annuity due. So in the end we'll get this. And so this is how we derive the formula for the increasing annuity. And this formula is going to come up many times in your FM exam. So it's worth memorizing. So this is worth memorizing. So let's move on to the decreasing annuity. Well this corresponds to a payment where you receive n dollars at time 1, n minus 1 dollars at time 2, and then it slowly decreases arithmetically all the way to time n. And at time n you receive 1 dollar. So at time n minus 1 you receive 2 dollars. And then going back to our uh, increasing annuity for, uh, formula, you'll find that the decreasing annuity actually corresponds to p equals to n and q equal to negative 1. So if you substitute these numbers inside, you'll see, you'll see that uh, for p equal to n and q equal to negative 1, you'll see that at time 1 you receive n dollars, at time 2 you receive p plus q, so n minus 1, at time equal 3, <coughs> p plus 2q, so n minus 2, and you see that this extends all the way to time n, where you get 1 dollar. So you see that for p equal to n and q equal to negative 1, we get the decrease of annuity. So using this, we can substitute p equal to n and q equal to negative 1 to our increasing annuity formula. So in that case, we get n e n minus e n. Don't forget that's a bracket here. So the negative term here applies to both the a n term and the n v n term. And so once again, let's try to combine these terms. 
So thanks to the minus signs, we get a plus and v to the power of n divided by i. Well, this term, I'm just going to change this term into 1 minus v to the n divided by i. So well, this term multiplied by i will get 1 minus v to the n. So this i and this i just cancel out. So minus a n plus n v to the power of n divided by i. And you'll see that this term and this term, they both cancel out. So we're left with n minus a n divided by i. And so this is the formula we get for the decrease of annuity. So once again, this is another formula that comes up frequently in your FM exam, so it's worth your while to memorize this. So that is all for this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.